You've heard that cinnamon is toxic for our liver, so let's break it down. All types of cinnamon contain varying amounts of a compound called coumarin, which health agencies claim can be liver toxic in large doses. There are two main types of cinnamon, Cinnamonum verum, known as Ceylon, and Cassia, known as Cinnamonum Cassia. Not all Cassia is the same though. The three popular varieties are Chinese Cassia, Saigon, and Burmani. Around 90% of cinnamon imported to the US is Burmani, which can also be called Corinthi, even though it will only say cinnamon or Cassia cinnamon on the label. Ceylon cinnamon contains trace amounts of coumarin, Chinese Cassia contains very low amounts, and Saigon Cassia and Burmani Cassia contain more significant amounts. Health agencies claim coumarin is toxic because rats and mice metabolize coumarin and break it down into OHPA and OHPAA, which are are liver toxic. Humans, on the other hand, rely on the CYP2A6 enzyme to largely metabolize coumarin into 7-HC, which is not liver toxic to humans. Long-term clinical studies gave sick patients doses of coumarin ranging from 50 to 400 milligrams, and only a very small portion experienced any impact on their liver function. The scientists concluded that a small portion of humans could have CYP2A6 enzyme polymorphisms that make them more sensitive to consuming large amounts of the compound in cinnamon called coumarin. There isn't any research I could find that consuming more coumarin than 0.1 milligrams per kilogram per day poses any risk to the general population. One Japanese study gave 76% of patients coumarin values from cinnamon over the tolerable daily intake of 0.1 milligrams per kilogram, but no cases of abnormal liver function caused by cinnamon bark were observed. So the big question is what kind of cinnamon is safe for the general population and how much can you consume? Saigon and Burmani Kasha contain over 200 times the amount of coumarin as in Ceylon and over 20 times the amount as in Chinese Kasha. On average, the overall amount of coumarin in Burmani is 0.45% of the cinnamon's weight and in Saigon is 0.4% of the cinnamon's weight compared to 0.02% in Chinese Kasha and 0.0017% in Ceylon. The European Food Safety Authority established that you can safely consume 0.1 milligrams of coumarin per kilogram of body weight per day. This means a 150 pound person could safely consume 6.8 milligrams of coumarin. If we say that a teaspoon of cinnamon weighs 2.6 grams and a tablespoon of cinnamon weighs 7.8 grams, then a 150 pound person Person could only consume the following amounts of cinnamon per day to be within the health agency's guidelines. A little more than half a teaspoon of Saigon, three quarters of a teaspoon of Burmani, close to four and a half tablespoons of Chinese Kasha, and 57 tablespoons of Ceylon per day. Based on this data, you should look for Chinese Kasha or Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon contains the least coumarin and the most antioxidants, but is more expensive and has a milder taste. Chinese Kasha also has a low coumarin content and is less expensive and has a more strong taste. However, it doesn't have quite as many antioxidants as Ceylon cinnamon. Comment cinnamon to spread the message and check out the written version of this on my website under the blog, which I've linked in my bio.